Well, the big challenge for the Indian batsmen in New Zealand will be the country's green pitches that are known for their pace and bounce, something that Kiwi Quickies will look to exploit. MS Tony, however, believes his men are up to the challenge. Versus New Zealand, the number one ranked team in the world against number eight. The Kiwis then should be easy pickings for India, right? No. But the Black Caps are a formidable outfit and Team India will not make the mistake of taking them lightly. You know, they're a fantastic side. Uh, they've got good bowlers in the side now. So I would rather go into the series, uh, you know, not taking the New Zealand team lightly. The Kiwis have made it clear that they'll be targeting India's batting order with chin music. And with the likes of Adam Milne finally finding his feet in international cricket, India could be in a spot of bother. Another dot. Milne is a tearaway quick who consistently bowls at speeds of 150 kmph and even touched the 153.2 mark in the series against West Indies. 153.2. And along with Mitchell McLanahan, the tall pacer who's quick and brings the ball into the right handers, Milne could turn out to be a handful. But for the Kiwis, it seems that India's bowling is the weak link. It has been a common question, you know, uh, people always talk about our bowlers getting smashed, but uh, we have seen, you know, over a period that they have improved, the death bowling has improved. Off some of that. The Kiwis have some really hard hitters. Brendan McCullum, Ross Taylor, Jesse Ryder, who made a comeback to the ODI side and is in scintillating form. And the hottest debutant in the cricketing world, Corey Anderson, who smashed the Westernese bowling to claim the fastest ODI 100 world record in 36 balls. No wonder that MS Dhoni was asked about him too in the first press conference in Auckland. That's what happens in international cricket, you know, you play big innings and people talk about you. So, uh, even the greatest of cricketers, uh, they always start from, you know, that first game, you know, like if you talk about Sachin. He also went there and played the first game as an international cricketer. So you always start from scratch. Of course, he's someone uh, who has got a lot of power. It promises to be an intriguing series with five ODIs. The first one in Napier with Hamilton, Auckland and Wellington being the other venues. If Dhoni and his team can repeat the heroics of 2009, it will not only ensure that India begin 2014 on a good note, but also they keep their number one status. And as far as beginnings go, it certainly can't get much better than that, can it? Siddharth Kochar, Headlines Today.